Today we are checking out the largest Yu-Gi-Oh collection on YouTube. What's up guys, today I was live on Twitch and we checked out Moist Critical's every Yu-Gi-Oh card collection. It is absolutely crazy and it was really fun. And we did it live on Twitch, so if you guys want to be there at some point when I'm live streaming, I've been doing it a lot more, then go check out the link in the description. Let's see what you guys think about this crazy collection. Let's see what the collection's looking like. Moist Critical, he's admitting that he's collected every single Yu-Gi-Oh card. I've not seen this whole video yet. I watched like a minute. Let's get into like it. Like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. That's, and that's Pokemon right. Pokemon card yes. by extension. Basically just shiny cardboard. It just triggered so much dopamine in my caveman brain. I, I just loved it. To me, it just didn't make sense to get addicted to drugs when trading cards exist. Obsessive collecting is a single player game that I've completed. So did he collect I every single card? Like Ultimates or is, like what? I completed my Yu-Gi-Oh collection as well as the Pokemon collection that I set out to achieve. So I now have every video single is only 12 Yu-Gi-Oh minutes. How does he show all these? ultra rare and above so every card that exists as an ultra rare secret rare ghost rare ultimate rare collector's rare parallel rare all of it premium gold gold rare i have every single one of them in first edition How? And i just want to show you this i think i can say with a high level of confidence that i have the most impressive Yu-Gi-Oh collection on youtube so let's start okay with all right all right is he taking shots what is this on youtube is that is that is that us? He's talking about us? You got a better collection than us, huh? Are we trying to say? Hmm. I feel offended right the now. The holy grail of Yu-Gi-Oh collecting. Okay, Legend that, of Blue that's Eyes cool. First edition. So, of course, you got the Dark Magician and the Blue Eyes. The Blue Eyes being the most coveted. That little this, naughty I like this setup. PSA this is very nice. For like a hundred grand or something Ooh. absurd. Gaia got the shaft. He has every other LOB Ultra in there, but Gaia's not in there. And then the two secret rares at the bottom. I want to come in here and just okay. go ahead. There it is. Never mind. <laughs> and let you know right now, nothing in my collection is PSA 10 or even close. Because for me, I'm never going to grade these cards. I think grading is a giant scam. You pay more to get your cards graded than you ever would selling them. And it's super arbitrary. Not true. You just have to send in the right things. A lot of the numbers they put on the cards. I just find it to be... That may be true. So I don't care about grading. So just keep that in mind. These cards are not PSA 10s and they never will be. Now let me show you my favorite Oh, oh look at this. This is so cool. Okay, this is cool. I like this more than the LOB Ultras. You guys know I love ghosts, but this... Yeah, I like this. I like this more. This is the ghost rare frame. Every single ghost rare ever printed exists in this beautiful sarcophagus. That includes the rainbow dragon misprint from Tactical Evolution. Yeah. Often considered the rarest misprint in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. Is it? I mean, it's rare, but I... I don't know. I was able to snatch this bad boy up about a year ago off an eBay sale. I remember that. I'm pretty sure just took it from their child's toy box. <laughs> so that was lucky and that kid's Christmas is ruined for sure, but I'm pretty happy about it. It does not come in first ed, which is why that is an unlimited. This is what the card is supposed to look like. The misprint is obviously, it says Rainbow Dragon. Wait, 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 wait. Where's ours? We gotta find it. I can't find the other one, but we've got one. We do have regular Rainbow Dragon. We don't have the other one, though. The rarest misprint, as he said. But we have this I bad draw. boy. This card is very hard to show. These BGS slabs, guys. That's what I've been telling you. BGS slabs are garbage. How do you even see this thing? You can't even tell it's a ghost rare. This is like a white print. It has the art for the Elemental Hero Chaos Neos on it, whereas this one just has the actual Rainbow Dragon. The card actually got misprinted twice. You'll see Rainbow Dragon with Chaos Neos <laughs> on it again. This was the very next set. This one did come in first edition, though. So they really like, struggled with the that. The astute yeah. observer will notice a lot of dog hair in the frame it's because <laughs> I have a husky named Tetra and her... This dude has a dog hair in his ghost chair. He's got all these ghost chair cards like, oh, look at this beautiful thousands of dollars worth of cardboard. By the way, there's some dog hair in here. Do it, just ignore that part. Hair gets everywhere. Just like the entire air is littered with her hair particles. So when I was putting the cards <laughs> He's in breathing here, it in. just got trapped in there. So I'm eventually going to have to take the frame off and just get the hair out. But I didn't feel like doing that before recording this video. It still looks fine, even with all the dog hair in there. Even adds personality to it, I'd argue. Wow! Guys, did you guys have you guys seen how much Apollosa is going for right now? In the, in the Starlight Rare? This sucker is like $1,200. By the way, in my Effect Veiler, I bought two of these. For my Blue Eyes deck that I've never actually played. They're 425 and 400 each or something like that. They're up to $720.
insane. Entire Starlight set, every Starlight ever printed. A lot of these I actually pulled on stream when I was doing a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh openings on stream. Some of these have some sentimental value to me. Like I pulled a lot of these here, like that Rose, I pulled a couple. The yeah. 10,000 Dragon, like these really do have 10 some dragon. meaning to me. Like I think of them as like my kids. So yeah, it looks wonderful. Love the Starlights. This is gonna be a nightmare to edit because I'm gonna have to edit out all the parts where he's like the effing frame and all this stuff. <laughs> Next, let's move on to the collector's rares. Again, a lot of these I pulled on stream. Look at the hair! It's on the Stardust! Come on! All right, Charlie, we got to talk. I love your collection. It's awesome. I think you're hilarious, but this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. You see this? This hair on the collector rare Stardust, it cannot happen. This cannot happen. You've got to fix this. This is all 60 collector's rares. This is their newest rarity. There's only 60 of those? I guess there's only been four sets. Wow. That's cool. I guess now's the time to do a collection like this because you only have only 60 cards, but it's only going to get to be more. Like imagine if you had started collecting every secret, like when they first started coming out and stuff like that. And this is all 60 of those just hanging out, group hugging in the shower as well. Ultimate rares, so nice. this is just some of them, the classic. How many of you guys think there are? Baylor, I think they have one of those. I've got my own little Yu-Gi-Oh! museum Bro, in here. Bro, where is he hanging these up? This is like a lot. This is like a full, like probably takes up an entire room. Here that I've cooked up. Oh, um, yeah. Look at that. Go, yo, Stardust. Stardust Dragon Ultimate Rare. Yeah, I love this. All here, every wow. ultimate rare. It's like 500 Ultimate Rares or something crazy. There's a ton of Ultimate Rares. Obviously, I have them in frames because I plan on hanging them, but yeah. I haven't done that for all. Oh, look at the Flamey Eternity. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Look at this. We got Sacred Phoenix, Gatling Dragon, King Dragoon, Gear Freed, Lighting Vortex. This set is epic. I love this set. I haven't done that for all of them yet, but I did start. So you had Ancient Ryza, nice down there. So Bro, this is set. so Have some cool. Labyrinth of Nightmares. This one I pulled myself, this Injection Fairy Lily. Yeah, look That's at him. That's a pretty nice card. Really proud of that pull. Got that on stream. Also pulled one of my favorites here, the Raviel. Part of the Sacred Beasts. These he, are the ultimate rare. Wait, he pulled that? Win! Dude, that is Raviel, sick. Raviel, part of he the has Sacred one, Beasts. Time out. This has 1.669 million views. Why can't my videos get that many views? <laughs> These are the ultimate rares from Shadows of Infinity. Just more classics all over Bro, the place. Bro, Metal Raiders. Nostalgia oh. Favorite card here. Cool. It's the Strike Ninja. I actually pulled this as a kid. Thought the card was so cool because I was a huge fan of ninjas. My first, one of my first Xbox Live gamer tags was Ninja Maniac. Here's just some more. Ooh, elements of energy. This is a big one. Rares. These are going to be mainly Dude, elemental. Dude, we're only halfway through this video, guys. Halfway, and this is what we've seen. This is crazy. Hero sets, so from the GX era. These I actually think definitely look the best. This was their best ultimate <laughs> rare sets. I, of course, all first dead because I'm not a D D Crow. I think I paused it just in time to where I could say that. And uh, yeah, I made sure not to miss any here. These were really hard to find. A lot of these elemental hero ultimate rares just shining. Phoenix Enforcer, screw that card. Don't really exist anymore. Like there's not a ton for sale. So it took me like a long time to get some of these over a year. And then some of them I pulled from Power of the Duelist, like that Flare Neos. I was able to get two of those. Look, he's got gold series in his trash. This man just opening gold series for no reason. Ever since I was a kid, I also really liked the Egyptian God card. So I got every single Egyptian God card rarity ever printed, including the newest one from King's Court, the Secret Pharaoh's rares. These are definitely the best they ever printed. These are the secret rares yeah, for the game. Yeah. Even got the Japanese exclusive Those ones. are the best. And then behind this sure. is actually a really cool frame. But first, let me show you this. Just some more cool ultimate rares. And then this is more of like your... Ooh, just regular... Access code! I need that for my deck. More modern cards. That oh, are still Gold Series next week. Still played today. So the Triple Tactics Talents, the Pot of, Pot of Prosperities access code, all that. I wanted a frame of just like cards that were really powerful for their time or still played today cards that were really powerful like for their time really are still played today okay yeah maxi really good fossil dino we got uh elemental hero guy i don't know about that one. Oh, look ghost bell a lot of go infinite impermanence yeah go ash blossom for sure who was playing dark paladin maybe a dual links farming deck in 2017 that's all i can think of so now that you've seen that let me show you a really cool one this oh is turn of it back bro let's go turn it back champion packs. pack so you've got the strongest card in Yu-Gi-Oh for its day the mechanical chaser that was dude the hair the hair in the very first uh, that's another one dd warriors taking the brunt of it pack the morphing jar got all eight tournament packs and all eight champion pack cards as well as the premium packs one and two some of my favorites from those i have every card from premium packs but i only uh frame okay it. not gonna lie i think premium pack is super boring i know they have the secret rares which are kind of cool i kind of like the secret rares i still love the set i think it's kind of boring this is a really cool frame this is 
all of Gladiator, Assault, and First Ed. These cards are impossible. To Gladiator's Assault? We have never had good luck there. ...to find nowadays. At least the ones that aren't covered in spit and crumpled up like they were- Oh! <laughs> another air! ...used for toilet paper. I had to wait over a year- Wait, 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 where's the formula? Hit, ...hit the market some- I thought he said- did he say all? Let's Those. go back. Let's figure this out. This is a really cool frame. This is all of Gladiator Assault in First Ed. Did he forget about Formula? He forgot about somewhere. Formula. So I got really lucky finding some of these. So this frame I'm really proud of. Got all the ultimate rares and the secret rares. The I don't think he got were the Formula. To find. So you're th Maybe he has it somewhere else. Maybe he like put it somewhere else. Like the Necro Face and Soul Taker. And I could oh. only find the Magic Formula. There it is. Gradient. Yeah. So 9.5. He's like, I couldn't find anywhere else. Just bought a 9.5. And that was probably like five grand at 9. least. 9.5 graded first ed Magic Formula. Like I said, I hate grading cards. I would never do it. But this was the only copy of this card I could find anywhere over the last year and some change. So yeah, I got to complete the. It is rare. It's very rare. The Gladiator Assault First Ed Collection. Speaking of graded cards, though, this is the highest oh. graded copy of this card ever in the world right now. Oh, that's, a, that's a sweet card. I draw! Mirror Force. So James before Konami fall. had rights to Yu-Gi-Oh, it was owned by Bandai, and they printed an entire set, which is these right here. Wow. These like prize cards and promo cards as well. So I have all of those, and they're really Oh, nice. is that Gate Guardian? I've never seen that one. This I thing draw. has a freaking mouth. Uh, you guys see this? That that's a little questionable. It's not like I wanted them graded or anything. I actually found these a couple years ago before I even got really big into collecting Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I just happened to stumble upon them on eBay and I was like, that sounds like a good price for that. It was like a couple hundred bucks for that Mirror Force. And it is still to this day the couple highest hundred graded dollars? 1998 Mirror Force that I've seen That's anywhere cheap. online. Here, But here's the rest of the set. I'm not going to go through each card, but it was like 140 that they printed. Wow. And I have all of those. But That's the biggest sick. ones are, of course, the Mirror Force, Gate Guardian, and Swords of Revealing Light. This frame is mainly just dark. Oh! DDS, speaking of DDS, here they are. Christians and blue eyes that I thought were really rare. So these are the world championship replicas there. DDS sail it! Ah! It's reminding me of how I didn't remember what game this was in. Dark Revelations 4. These are just three really rare cards there. And then these blue eyes and dark magicians here from Dark Duel Story. Oh, he's got a little bit of a beat up blue eyes. It's kind of what mine looks like. The Game Boy game. These are extremely hard to find, so I got lucky that I was able to pick those up. You and could open a game. Great ones. Dark magician you blue eyes from the Might starter decks them, first ed. And then some of the ultimate rares for Kaiba there with like the crush card virus and blue eyes. Like I briefly mentioned though, it's not all Yu-Gi-Oh! So I have all of the masterpiece. Imagine finding this collection in your grandpa's basement. Yeah, that would be a good one. <laughs> Magic the Gathering cards as well, because Masterpiece, I thought, was just incredible. Okay, Magic the Gathering. Oh, wow. He had to go and ruin it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Then I have some gold of the Pokemon Star Charizard. collection here. Some just gold chilling. Stars. There you can see just a damaged chilling. Gold Star Mewtwo, Rayquaza. I haven't finished the Gold Star collection. I will at some point, but here's my... What? <laughs> These are un... I mean, they're sleeved, but they're just like in stacks. Gold Star Charizard, uh, first edition Charizard. Here you go. Their first ed base set Pokemon. for Pokemon. Uh the party does you guys way cooler first ed you see where his true loyalties lie everything else like is in 300 there. grand Thanks. i was able to get that bad boy for like two grand because it was listed as damaged and i i think it looks just fine like i said it, as long as it looks good in a frame that's all oh sukiyomi i need another one of those charlie hit me up really happy with being able to get that so i finished the entire base set first ed collection <laughs> These are Caius, that's what we were just talking about. I don't have that duel links. These are just more ultimate rares that I haven't framed yet. This is all of the ultimate rares from the OTS packs, and they all look great. Just haven't had a chance to finish framing all of them. Now, just to finish it all off and take it home, everything that's not in frames is in these binders. So everything from the movie packs, from the video games, all of it's in here. As long as it's ultra rare and above, so wow. mainly ultra rares and secret rares. That's are crazy, binders, man. Every single one of them. Gold Was he just like on well, TCG player just buying all this stuff for like three yep. months? Every single card ever printed in Yu-Gi-Oh! that is ultra rare. Like higher, literally. I, have, I think that's what he did. Except championship. I have that ultimate cards. rare too. I, I just bought it for my Dark Magician deck. Because I obviously haven't won any championships, so I didn't get the prize cards. I, so that I may never be able to complete my collection with. But I'm super satisfied with it. This was quite a long time of work in order to finally finish yeah, it Yeah, I wonder off, how I long it took to him. show it to all of you because I'm super proud of it. It's a collection that I've always wanted to complete at some point ever since I was a kid. That's about it. See ya.